Determine the acute angle of the rhombus whose side is the geometric mean of its diagonals. We have to find out the acute angle of the rhombus whose side is geometric mean of its diagonals. So let us say the diagonals are D1 and D2. Now we know that in rhombus diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. So we can go ahead and write down this is D1 by 2 half of it. This is D1 by 2. This is D2 by 2 and this is D2 by 2. And we have been given that the side is geometric mean of its diagonals. So we have square root of D1 D2. What we need to find out is the angle, acute angle. So let us say that angle what we need to find out is 2 theta taking because we know diagonals are angular bisectors so we can say that total angle is 2 theta what we need to find out is 2 theta and we'll find out theta first then we will double it up to get the 2 theta now looking at the right angle triangle immediately we know that we can leverage the Pythagoras theorem there so we can go ahead and say that d1 by 2 whole square plus d2 by 2 whole square equals to square root of d1 d2 whole square which is equals to d1 square by 4 plus d2 square by 4 equals to d1 d2 now let us simplify that we will have d1 square plus d2 square minus 4 d1 d2 equals to 0. What we need to find out? We need to find out 2 theta. So let's go to this triangle BOC and see what is triangle BOC and see what is tan theta. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent that is d2 by 2 by d1 by 2 which is equals to d2 by d1. So now if you are able to get this into a quadratic equation in d2 by d1 then we can easily find out the value of tan theta. So let's do that. For that what we will do? We will divide by d1 square throughout that will give us d2 by d1 whole square minus 4 into d2 by d1 plus 1 equals to 0. We know that d2 by d1 is tan theta so why can't we go ahead and write down tan square theta minus 4 tan theta plus 1 equals to 0. We will use quadratic formula. So tan theta will be equals to minus b that is 4 plus or minus square root of b square 16 minus 4ac that is 4 divided by 2a which is equals to 2. So that is 4 plus or minus root to 12 by 2 that is 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 by 2 which is equals to 2 plus or minus root 3. Since we are looking at acute angle, we will consider tan theta equals to 2 minus root 3. If you remember, that will give you theta equals to 15 degrees because we know tan 15 degrees is 2 minus root 3. So then what will be our 2 theta then? 2 theta equals to 30 degrees. So the acute angle is equals to 30 degrees. Let's have a recap of this problem. We have been given that the side of the rhombus is geometric mean of its diagonals. We know that in rhombus diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees and they are also angular bisectors. Now we have a Pythagoras theorem can be applied in this right triangle. We have d1 square by 4 plus d2 square by 4 equals to d1 d2.
get it into a quadratic equation in terms of d2 by d1 because we know tan theta is d2 by d1. So we are getting tan theta is 2 minus root 3 which is theta equals to 15 degrees. That means the acute angle of the rhombus is 2 times of 15, 30 degrees.